The English language is a thing of beauty when it's used properly. But the misuse of a period or a comma can change a will, a fortune, or the meaning of a sentence. Two weeks ago tonight, when Nihilator won the $2 million Woodrow Wilson, we answered a question from a viewer in Spring Valley, New York, who sent us a newspaper clipping, which said in the newspaper clipping this, a quote from Lou Guida, whose Wall Street stable owns Nihilator. We're not going to kill him as a two-year-old, said Guida. With today's improved horses, tracks, and equipment, you could drive a two-year-old 25 times. But you won't see him as a three-year-old. That's not what we want, referring to Nihilator. What the clipping should have said was this. You could drive a two-year-old 25 times, but you won't see him as a three-year-old. That's not what we want. With the period and the new sentence referring to uh, Nihilator, as we thought it did, we said that we couldn't comment intelligently on Mr. Guida's plans for Nihilator. We would be surprised if he and the Wall Street stable retired the horse, but that if that happened, we can understand it because of the economics of racing. Well, it isn't going to happen, and we want to set the record straight tonight. Because of that period, a new sentence rather than a comma, which the newspaper in Spring Valley should have carried, the report was not only erroneous, but misleading. Mr. Guida assures us that Nihilator will race next year as a three-year-old, which is good news for everyone in harness racing, and uh, which should set the record straight for our viewer in Spring Valley who wanted to know two weeks ago how a horse could be a great horse just racing at two. We told him then that he could be, that Nihilator is a great horse. But we're happy that he's going to prove it not only this year at two as undefeated, but as three. Our second question tonight, or our question tonight, comes from David Patterson, who wants to know that besides Laffa Day, who sold for 625000 last year, what are the highest prices for yearlings sold at auction? Could you give us the 10? Well, we can. Laffa Day, the filly that brought 625000 is the all-time high yearling for harness racing. Mustang, Alma Hurst, Dia Hanover, Keystone Profile, and Albatraz, and three of those top four were sold last year. What's surprising is not necessarily the horses you know, but the ones you don't in this top ten list or haven't heard of. Here are Silk Spats at 400, Cobra Almhurst at 385 along with Listening, Free Market at 375, and one you probably remember, Napa Valley at 370,000. Those are the highest price yearlings sold at auction. And when you consider that five of the top ten uh, money-winning horses in America this year are harness horses and the other five thoroughbreds, and the prices for thoroughbreds are maybe five or ten times as high as those you've seen. In the case of the top price thoroughbred, it's much more than that, ten million, but they haven't won any more money than the harness horses. You see why harness racing is a good investment. Those are our winners tonight. We're happy about that, and uh, we hope that you will send your questions in. Coming up next is the seventh race, first half of the late double, another division of the New York Sire Stakes for two-year-old pacing fillies. <laughs> 